Hello everyone. Uh, this is a part two of the same uh, with the finding expensive equation in SQL Server and do the performance tuning. Uh, this will be very short. The reason is because I'm just covering one more concept into it, which I forgot in the last video. So instead of just altering and recording a new video, I'm like, okay, let me just create a separate video out of it. So uh, in the last video, as you know, we have seen how uh, we can optimize, uh, how we can figure it out the expensive queries. Now, uh, uh, in that I showed you like how we collect the stats into this query a stats table and then we uh, work on it now there is one more trick which helps me to figure it out which are the queries I need to work faster so given examples when we have these queries what you need to do is there is one more query which is a missing index query first you just run select sys, uh, start from sys database and then you can just run this missing uh, index query now usually all of the people say like don't work on these missing index queries uh, because these are sometimes vague suggestions but sometimes they helps a lot the helps a lot in the sense let's say if you see this question um, this missing index so it works on it it is saying like there is a data uh, table which is student table in northman database which has a missing index and the performance impact is 49 percent now you can uh, so this you can say query might give you like 100 of index suggestion now from that you can make a list of the tables and go to the customer and saying like, which are the tables, which are the problem or which are the bigger table, which you need to work on. And they will mark, okay, these are the three tables, which are the bigger ones and those kind of table. Now, you know, there are missing indexes on those table. Now, what you can do is when you are analyzing those queries in those tables for those uh, like if, uh, from that database, which are targeting that table, then you can see whether these missing suggestions are coming from those queries. Now, even if the execution count of the query is one and still the missing uh, index is there, it will suggest you. So now for one query, we should not create the index. This is the basic thing. But if you find a query where the execution count is more than one, or you can say 100, 200, 300, so it's a frequent query and an expensive query, and you find there is an index which is giving a suggestion for the similar columns, or you even find there are multiple queries which might the same index might help. So in that case, this way of targeting missing index and then going to the query stats helps a lot. Uh, in my experience, I have seen a lot of time I have uh, worked on the server and figured it out like this missing index suggestion helps me to target the right queries. Uh, and also like you just don't go for and just create the index. You need to check if there is an, a, a, you can say existing index. Usually I, I told that in my performance optimization video, you can go through that also in that like, Creating index is never the solution. Just see if there is already an index which is not getting used, then you can just change the index in a way so that it can be used. Or if you, there is an index already on the date of birth and with the first name and just adding one more column will not hurt you, that you can do. So that's a separate topic. But I hope this way you can also target the queries which need to be tuned and which can be easily tuned. Like give an example, if there is a missing index for this query and I know this is very frequent query and there is no index on the table already or very less index. So you can just create the table. As you know, the frequency of this query is like every minute, the thousand uh, execution, then it will literally help you in getting that query out of this top expensive queries. So once you have removed one or two couple of queries which are most expensive, for sure you will see a performance change on the production and you will have less query to figure it out. So I hope if you have any question, uh, like I hope this video would have helped you. If you have any question, just let me know on my email ID or my phone number if you want any help. Uh, and you can post your e e email ID in the comments so that I can share the scripts with you. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.